Hello and welcome to VLOOKUP Hacks, hack number 10, Maslow's Hammer. My name's Jeff, I'm glad that you are here. So have you ever heard of this uh, Maslow's Hammer saying, it, it basically goes like this, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And the basic idea is over-reliance on a familiar tool. And we Excel users, we tend to do this with VLOOKUP, right? It's such an awesome and powerful function, we tend to over-rely on it. And we sometimes forget that there are alternatives that may be a better fit depending on the workbook. So in this final post of the VLOOKUP hack series, we're going to look at a few alternatives. Okay, the SUMIFS function, it's not typically thought of as a lookup function, um, but it makes a great lookup function, especially when the thing that you are trying to return is a number. And there's a few reasons, okay? And I've actually documented all of these reasons. So if you want to check it out and learn more about this, uh, head to this first link here. And this is going to take you to a post that includes a video that is called Five Differences Between SUMIFS and VLOOKUP. And it basically puts these two functions in, in like a head-to-head -head comparison. And so, uh, so it's pretty fun to check out. So feel free to check that one out. And there's a couple of others as well. The next alternative is count ifs. Often, we Excel users use VLOOKUP to do list comparisons. In other words, is anything on this list on this other list, or is there anything on this list that's not on this other list? List comparisons, right? So we use VLOOKUP often to do that. But when we don't actually need to return a corresponding value, and we're really just seeing if that value exists in the other list, COUNTIFS makes a great alternative, mainly because it supports multiple conditions. So if you want to check more about that, feel free to use that link, which takes you to an article that I wrote and talks all about count ifs. Okay? Another alternative is index match. So there's this underlying assumption when we're using VLOOKUP, which is that the lookup column is the leftmost or first column within the lookup range. And when it's not, Excel users often like cut and paste, or we we manually reposition that data so that it's the first column. But that's a manual step that we can eliminate when we use index match instead of VLOOKUP. If you'd like to learn more about that, check out this post here, which talks all about um, using index match instead of VLOOKUP. And finally, sometimes Excel users use VLOOKUP to kind of like merge or combine values from two different tables. Well, guess what? That capability is built right in to get and transform queries or in Power Query. So if you'd like to check that out, feel free to, to check out these two links. And the first one will take you to this post here called Get and Transform an Alternative to VLOOKUP List Comparisons. Okay. So listen, this is the final post, final video in the VLOOKUP hack series. I hope that this series helps you get um, more leverage, more mileage, more utility out of the amazing VLOOKUP function. And hopefully these alternatives here that we talked about will help you find an alternative um, when it is a better fit. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.